Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the material object position world space node? Let's go ahead and check out this node and a quick little example. So we have our object position node. And if we type in object position, we'll find it under object position WS, WS standing for world space. So what is our object position node? Basically, the object position node will give us the center of the bounds of the object that this material is on. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, we have a node, the actor position node. Oh, well, they are different, and let me go ahead and show you how. So I have this item here, and it's a little wall with a little window in it. And you can see here by my transform gizmo, the root of this item is in the middle of the window. And now this root is also at 0, 0, 0. Currently I have an actor position node on it, and because it's 0, 0, 0, I'm going to get back 0 red, 0 green, 0 blue, because I'm using a divide node into an emissive color. And it's going to give me black 0 for everything, so it's black. If I was to move it, I'll get red or blue or green. Now if I put the object position world space node onto here, you're going to notice it actually turns red. Now this part that's black, that's actually the other side. This is two different materials. This is the actor. And this is the object. And you might be asking yourself, well, why is the object one red, whereas the actor one is black? Well, this is the root where the actor goes from. The bounds is the entire object. So our root is more long, sorry, not our root, but the object position is more around the middle. And that is not zero. That's going to be something along the lines of, let's see, let's go for somewhere around 300, 0, and negative 180. So let's reset this. Let's make this something more like 1,000. So give me a little bit more granularity. And we'll go ahead and look at it. Now, of course, we have a darker red. If I was to move this over to my left, let's move it over right there. You're going to notice I'm hiding inside of a blend space. Let's get out of that. You'll notice it's basically negative 360 over. If I was to go down, let's go up and find our colors. Our Z values, there's our Z value starting to fill in. So it's somewhere around there. And we have our Y value. Let's see if that, now our Y value should be fine at the center. This, well, let's put this on the back. This is pretty much going to be my origin. This is, I bet you this is 180 on that. Nope, it was not. Okay, so let's go with that. Looks better. Basically, our actor position is 360 in the X, negative 360, so to the left, and 160 up away from the actual bounds center. If we were to pull this item up, and we pull up the bounds, you'll notice that this is the bounds of my object. So you'll notice our center is more in line with something like this. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's see. Let's go with the left. No, let's go with the right. Okay, seriously, I went left to right. That did not help. There we go. So this is going to be where my actual bounds or my object position world space center will be. And over here is where my actor position world space is going to be. As you can see, they are off. So that is the difference between the object position world space and the actor position world space. Most of the time your basic objects are going to have your root or your um, root, your root node or your pivot node in the center. But if, for example, you have something that's on the ground, like maybe a wall, or you have something that's on a left alignment, maybe a door, you're going to want to use something like the object position world space node so you know where the center is rather than where the edge or your root node is. Something you could use for this, maybe hook it up with a camera and distance, and you can actually tell where from the center of the physical object your camera is located 
rather than just from the edge. That's going to wrap up our object position world space node and hopefully it helped you know the difference between the object position and the actor position. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.